This video was requested by user Keskinmert. I'm so sorry if I mispronounced your name. <laughs> Hello, I'm back with another how-to video. <clears throat> now, this video is going to be a little bit odd in that there's no surefire way to know exactly whether the mod you're using has this problem or not immediately. So, you know, like with my previous how-to videos, like how to fix the truck won't move bug. It's pretty easy to know you get in your truck and then it just won't move. You know, that was easy to title. This, it's just, sometimes when the game crashes, it's this problem. Sometimes when the game crashes, it's some other problem. But, the problem I'm showing you how to fix now is certain types of dealer crashes. The most common one that I know how to fix, basically. So, the mod I'm using for this demonstration is a Volvo. It's Severin from the Impossible Hall series. And I happen to know that it's the last truck to show up in the dealer. So I'm on 1 of 10. If I click backwards, it'll go to 10 of 10. And the game crashes. Uh, hold on, the display's taking a second to catch up. There we go. Okay, so the game crashed. I'm on desktop now. Uh, <laughs> now, the way you'd know if, it, if the problem you're having is the problem this video shows how to fix is you'd go, you'd open your file explorer, Go to Documents, American Truck Simulator, or Euro Truck Simulator 2, depending on what game you're in. I'm in Euro Truck, so Euro Truck Simulator 2. Uh, game Log, Game.Log right here. And then scroll all the way down, and it's going to be a problem with UI, Dashboard, whatever truck you're using. So I'm using the Volvo VNR, actually, but it uses the same files as VNL. So, and you're looking for this error. The unit Volvo.VNR is already taken by an existing unit of type UI colon colon window. That specifically is what this video is showing you how to fix. So you see that and you're like, yep, it's the same problem. So then you close that, or minimize it in this case. You want to go to mod and just find the mod you're using, which is the Volvo VNR Heavy Haul for me. And open it with RINRAR or 7-zip or whatever you have on your computer. And then go to UI, Dashboard, and then usually, this is where you'd want to go back to this, it says right here what it is. It's UI, Dashboard, Volvo VNL, .SII. So if we go into that, and then that just says to include this file. So we go into this file, and this is the actual problem. Usually, the problem will be in the SII file. This mod's just unique in that it uses the SUI file. So this is the problem right here. For whatever reason, I don't remember I don't even know what update caused this, but it was somewhere between 130 128 and now, I think, because this truck I know worked in 128, but I don't remember when it stopped working. <laughs> so in current versions of the game, it really doesn't like it if a um code name like this doesn't start with underscore nameless. So what I'm going to do is just copy this, go find, or sorry, go replace, and then put underscore nameless dot vnr, or whatever else is after the dot. Go replace all. And then Save this file. Make sure you update the file in the archive. Can't tell you how many times I've modified and saved the file, gone back into the game, and it didn't make any difference. I forgot to actually edit, uh, update it in the archive. And my window is going a little bit slow, so... There it goes. Alright, so now you're going to start the game again, obviously.
And now, if we go to the dealer, go back to Volvo again. Yeah. It should. There. So now you can see I have the truck. And usually you would be able to modify it, but because of other problems with this particular mod, I can't modify it anyway. So I'm just going to go purchase. To show you that it does work properly. And there you go. So now I'm in the truck. Uh, where are my keys? There we go. You can see it works properly. I can move and Sorry, it's been a while since the last time I drove this truck. Now, I do... So that's pretty much it. I mean, you know, obviously now the truck's working. It didn't crash the game when I went into the dealer. Um, But I do want to give another warning before I end this video. So that's the computer UI right there. That's what caused the whole problem. Uh, was the file that controls that. So, I've noticed that sometimes it won't, it still won't work properly, so that would just be a black screen in the middle of the dashboard, and if I were to press I, it would crash, but obviously right now it's working properly, and I don't know why sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't, but just, if you have a truck that actually does have a display screen like this one does, and it's black or looks glitchy, just don't try updating it, because it might crash the game. However, if it's working properly, like this one is, all of a sudden, then you don't worry about it. <laughs> so, yeah, that's just a quick little fix. It's a fairly common problem, though. Um, so, I just didn't think to ever make a video about it. But, I hope you found this video helpful, as always. Um... I hope that as updates keep breaking trucks, I'll continue to find ways to fix them. <laughs> and I will catch you in the next one.